It was a long, long time ago. I was a young wee lad who loved his dog. You see, if you're a dog person, you know that some dogs have really human-like personalities. Our black Labrador Ziggy was one of the biggest personalities I had growing up. Our Ziggy was stubborn, crazy, and by crazy I mean really crazy, funny, goofy, and a way too overly protective dog. This dog was my brother. He would piss me off, he would make me laugh, he would sit with me while I cry, and best of all, he would keep me all warm and cozy in my cold bed. I loved Ziggy if you can't tell. Anyways, here comes the serious part of the video. Our beloved Ziggy was admired by a lot of people. You see, Ziggy used to escape from the house and he had friends all over the campus. He was friends with the watchmen, he was friends with the maintenance staff, he was friends with the ladies who cleaned the school. He was honestly loyal to anybody who would give him food. Ziggy was a savage dog. He used to help the watchmen fight off these big bison. We have these big ass bisons in my old town. They're massive creatures. I'll insert a pic for you. Crazy, right? Anyways, our Ziggy was a god. So obviously in this world you have the jealous people who want Ziggy. One very sad day, Ziggy never came home. You see, Ziggy was an escape artist. Houdini had nothing on Ziggy. He was so smart. Nothing could stop this dog when he wanted something. He's broken out of windows, jumped over fences, that we kept having to raise because he kept jumping over. And we weren't those dumb people with the small fences, okay? So we had a tall fence, but he was just so determined to get out. We eventually made it to a height where he couldn't jump over. He then chewed through the fence. He's even somehow just once disappeared. We have no idea how he escaped the house. He even made us put a second lock on the door because he would open it with his paw. No joke. I saw it with my own eyes. We even came home one time and we found the dog had hung himself. Not really. We tied him in the center of our house and there are like windows. And uh, he broke through one of the windows and came into the front area of the house and he was just like hanging there. But we keep his collar loose so he doesn't kill himself like that. <laughs> but not too loose that he would slip out of it and run away. <laughs> but yeah, he was kind of just hanging off the edge and he was like, holy shit, I need some help right now. But yeah, he, he was fine. He was crazy though. But yeah, as Ziggy got older, he hated going outside. I even have a really sweet clip of him turning around instead of going the way we usually go for our walk, but he was like turning back home. <laughs> he just wanted to stay in his warm, cozy house and eat. <laughs> Anyways, shit, back to the story. Ziggy never came back home. I searched and searched every day for a week until I came to a point where I was very, very sad. I was walking one day on my long lost search for my dog when I came across this locker. A locker open with a clarinet inside. I was so angry and so pissed off that he had the audacity to leave the locker open without a lock and put a clarinet inside. I had to teach him a lesson. You see, our school always told us when we get an instrument, we have to have a locker with a lock and put it inside. So I was really pissed off about my dog and I saw this and uh, yeah, I did the like movie scene thing where I, I take the clarinet and I go into the forest and I, and I throw it and I'm so upset and yeah. I go home and for the next two days I'm feeling so guilty. They even announced it in our school assembly that the clarinet was missing. It kept going in my head, it was like... Until I came to a point where I was like, okay, I have to fix this, okay? So I lured my friends to the same spot to play tag. And we came across the clarinet pieces! We were the heroes! Woo! Yeah, not really. Like, pretty much all of the stories, they obviously had cameras, I obviously got caught, and I obviously got in trouble. I get home feeling so sorry for myself that I just got in trouble and I lost my dog. And guess who was home? My old pal Ziggy. Moral of this story, don't do dumb things. But if you do do something dumb, do the right thing after.
And the reason I say it was a bad decision and why I regret it was because on that day onwards, I was the target for being the mastermind behind all our future bad decisions. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join my family. Post something in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So let's ride. He then chewed. He then chewed. He then chewed through. He did. He then chewed through... Oh, fuck. <laughs> he then chewed through... He then chewed through... He then...